In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Starburst Photoshop action. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the action. So the way the action works is you just open up your photo and you fill in your subject with a color and just play the action. All right. So and this is the uh, the effect that the action will create. So as you can see what the action does, it creates this Starburst light source and you got a full control over the size and the location and the intensity of the light source uh, also the color and you can see the action creates the textures in the background you also have a 15 color looks that you can choose from and you can combine them for creating even more All right so just gonna close these two windows now and uh, when you open up your photo before you use the action there are a few things that you should check to make sure the action will run uh, without any errors so the first thing that you should check is that your photo uh, is a background layer, so it should be called the background and have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to the layer, new, and just choose a background from layer. And then uh, just click on this menu icon here and uh, choose the panel options. And just make sure you got this option here uh, checked, all right? And uh, then go to the image mode and your photo should be in RGB color mode, edit with candle and check the image size here so your photo should be at least about a 1500 pixels wide or high uh, so for best results you should use photos that are about from uh, 2000 uh, pixels to 4500 pixels wide or high, right? and resolution can be anywhere between uh, 72 and 300 uh, ppi so after that, uh, to load the action, just go to Window, Actions, and click on the menu icon here, choose the load actions, and uh, just load the action according to your Photoshop version, right? So I'm just gonna uh, double click on the action file and the action will appear in your actions panel. When you open the folder, you'll find the action here. And what you have to do now is just go to Layer, New, uh, Layer, and just name it Brush and it's important that all letters are lowercase because otherwise the action won't work and now while this layer is selected just pick a brush tool you can just hit the B on your keyboard and choose some soft brush using the uh, square brackets on your keyboard you can change the size of the brush and you can choose any color here or color is not matter and you can just brush up uh, over your subject or if it's easier to you can make a selection of your subject and then just fill it with a color so if you want to make a selection of your subject then select your background layer and now depending on your photo you can use some of the lasso tools magic pen tool, pen tool, right? so for example you want to use the uh, lasso tool so you can just now make a uh, oh, sorry uh, you, ju you just have to uh, make a selection right? And uh, after you make a selection uh, of your subject, then just go to Edit, Fill, and just fill it with the foreground color. And sometimes it's easier to first select the background, like in this example here. So here you can, for example, use a Magic Wand tool to select the, um, a background. Uh, and then after you select the background, you just go to Select Inverse and uh, then fill this selection with a color but when you're filling the selection with the color make sure you then select uh, previously a brush layer and then just fill it with the color so you have that f color fill on this brush layer right not on the background layer uh, so you can also make some additional changes to the selection like adding a little bit smooth selection or contracting or adding a feather expanding right so as I've already done the the brushing before, so I'm just gonna open my PSD file. We have already made a color fill. All right, here it is. So after that, all you have to do is to just select the action inside a folder and click play. So I'm going to fasten the video here and uh, get back when the first message shows. The action will stop uh, twice, asking you to do some steps. So I'm gonna get back when the first message shows. Okay, so here we got the first message, and uh, it says here now using the move tool, position the light source as you like. Also, you can transform the light source however you like by using the last tool. After you, uh, after that, play the action again. Please refer to video tutorial if you need any help here. 
and choose stop to proceed so just click stop and using a move tool you can just move these uh, light source around and using the last tool you can transform it or you can just press control or command T on your keyboard and uh, using a shift button just some drag uh, some of these corners here to, cre to keep the proportions of the light source and just keep in mind that uh, the more of these uh, intensive uh, uh, light source is visible uh, beside your subject the more intensive the light will be later right just gonna uh, increase slightly all right to transform it and uh, just gonna place it something like this and uh, just gonna hit enter and all you have to do now is to just play the action again and here is the another message and it says now double click on currently selected layer thumbnail and inside the properties panel using the hue saturation light and spam pointers set the color of a light source as you like then open the actions panel and play the action again please refer to video tutorial if you need any help here choose stop to proceed so you just choose stop and when you double cl click on the currently selected layer uh, thumbnail you can see here you can change uh, the hue you can change the saturation you can change the lightness alright so you can set uh, any color uh, that you like so just gonna uh, say something like this and you also will be able to change the color uh, later and now what you have to do is to just open the uh, actions panel again and just play the action so I'm going to fasten the video here again and get back when the action is finished and then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how can you customize the effects that you got okay so the action here just finished so just gonna close the actions panel and the first thing that you'll probably want to do here is to just quickly close down all these folders and how to quickly do that is to just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for Mac and while this group is selected just click on these little arrow here and that we're gonna close down all the all the folders so the first layer we got here is the brush layer so if you wish to play the action again but you wish to uh, position the light source differently or to uh, transform it differently but you want to use the same brush there the same photo you don't have to brush your subject again or fill with the color you can just delete the, this folder and you can play the action again that's why you have the brush layer here and uh, uh, first layer we got here in the uh, starburst folder is the original subject color so what this layer does it brings your subject original color as it said so is it gonna uh, see difference so I set it to zero and you can see the difference when I set to 100 it has go its original color all right uh, so just gonna uh, set it to something like this to just uh, give it slightly uh, of the original color here we got the overall brightness so you double click here you can just using the this pointer here adjust the overall brightness uh, of your photo uh, here we got the light intensity all right so this will uh, layer will boost the lighting a little bit so when you double click here uh, you can just move uh, these uh, dot here right this point here you can just move it to adjust the the light source as you like the intensity of the light source and you can also drop the opacity here if you like to just slightly lower the intensity <coughs> excuse me and uh, what we got here are the color looks so you got a 15 color looks that you can choose from and uh, uh, what you have to do is to just select the color uh, some of the color looks turn it on see how it looks if it doesn't uh, switch your photo just try with another All right and uh, you can also combine a few color rules and how that works is you will turn for example this one here and turn this one here then you just play with these opacities here right so you can get some unique color looks and I'm just gonna use this one here and you also got the layer mask here so it's a little bit uh, removing the color look over the light here so if you just hide this layer mask you can see the difference right and here we got a background darkening so you gotta uh, 
two layers here for darkening uh, a background all right so you can just uh, increase the opacity here or lower depending if you wish to darken the background or not and it's the same with uh, with this layer here right Uh, what we got here is the uh, sharpening and highlights so just open the folder and here we got the uh, subject sharpening uh, so you're just gonna add some nice sharpening to uh, only your subject not the the, the background uh, and how you control the sharpening you just change the opacity right just like this and here we got a boost highlights if I just turn it off and on, you see to boost all the highlights. You can change the opacity here if you like to adjust the uh, the highlights. And here, if you wish, you can add some strong highlights. It says brush white into the mask here. So you select the layer mask, uh, pick a brush tool, set foreground color to white, and uh, just brush like this uh, over the area. So you wish to add uh, some strong highlights right just like this or you can brush with the black or the areas where you wish to remove the, the highlights all right so just gonna add it a little bit like this I'm gonna remove it slightly over here so just brush with the black so you can see the difference all right and um, uh, you can remove this layer mask if you use a shield but so then we will boost all the other strong highlights all over and uh, you can change the opacity here, all right? So just gonna set it something like this. So just to boost the highlights uh, slightly. What we got here are the clouds. So these that are these clouds textures in the background, and you got a two layers here. So this one here goes. Uh, if you just make a selection of it, you see it doesn't cover the uh, the subject, just just the, a little bit of its edges. And this one here covers the uh, it covers the whole photo, but you got the layer mask, so it also doesn't cover here uh, a little bit of the edges. But it covers all the canvas edges, and this one here got the layer mask, so it uh, it doesn't. Uh, appears in the edges outside of the doesn't appear outside of the light source actually right and uh, what you can do is you can just play with these opacities for achieving uh, different texture looks and if you wish you can hide them if you wish to remove the textures or simply brush with the black color into this layer mask if you wish to remove some specific part of the textures and uh, what we got here is a softened photo so as you can see what this layer does it will just soften the uh, edges outside of the light source it will just soften up uh, all the details actually uh, in outside of the light source area and you can also adjust the opacity here I'm just gonna leave it by default and what we got here is the subject contrast So just gonna uh, control the contrast by uh, change the opacity here, and just gonna set something like this. And what we got here is the edge glow. So you got the narrow uh, edge glow, you got a wide edge glow, and you got the main light edge glow. So from that goes from the light source. So what I like to do is just just gonna hide these two for now, and just gonna customize first this one here. So you got the layer mask here. Uh, you can change its intensity by changing the opacity. I'm just gonna select this layer mask and pick a, a brush tool, pick some salt brush, set program color to black, and just gonna remove uh, the edge glow a little bit over there. 
just like this, all right? And it's just gonna turn on this one. I'm gonna leave the, the opacities to default, and then gonna turn on this one. And it may happen depending on your image size and uh, some other uh, things that uh, this light, this main light, just covers a lot of uh, uh, of your subject, all right? So it, it gets covered uh, with. Uh, you look almost something like this, right? So, what you you should then uh, you should do then is just let this layer mask, and uh, just go to the select mask, and you can just here shift this edge, right? So, as you're shifting the edge here, uh, you will just uh, move this uh, light edge glow for the light source. So it will stick more to the edges, right? As you, if you move it here into the positive uh, values, then it will cover more and more of your subject. So if you move it into the minus uh, percents here, then it will just uh, start to move uh, to the edges, right? And I'm just gonna move it slightly a little bit like this. And just click OK. Alright, and uh, you also got the edge glow main light color here. So when you double click here, you can only change the color of the of the those light if you like. Uh, what we got here next is the main subject. So this is just some a brightness adjustment. Alright, and here's your original subject. So if you wish, you can remove some part. Of your subject to uh, for creating some different results. For example, if you just remove it over there to get light lighting passing more here, right? And you got a main light here, and uh, so the, the this is the light source. And you got light source color, so you can uh, change the light source uh, color here. If you're not happy with the color you've chosen on the st uh, the beginning. And uh, here just got an, another dark background layer. And uh, this is just your original photo background. Alright, so let's just quickly check the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after effect. Alright, so. I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.